Hey y'all, so today I'm working on a glass vase uh, to prep my vase. I There's a sticker on the bottom. I took it off with some um, rubbing alcohol um, and then cleaned the vase really good with some 91% um, isopropyl alcohol and gave it a base coat of a matte white. And now I'm coming in to lay down my glitter. I'm using some Mod Podge and this glitter is a um, custom white that I made myself. I'm going to give this two layers. So once this layer of Mod Podge is dry, um, I'm going to cover the glitter with Mod Podge again and lay a second layer of glitter down. Once that's all dry, I'm going to knock off the excess here and I'm going to put some alcohol inks on my glitter. So I chose out some ones that I think I want to use and I'm just putting a little drop on my um, paper here and kind of seeing which ones are going to look good with this glitter and look good together. So I chose out a couple here, and this first one is a metallic purple. Um, as you can see, I'm just kind of trying to debate on how I'm going to lay the ink down because this is raw glitter, meaning that there is nothing over this glitter yet. So if I make a mistake or I put, you know, a drop of ink where I really don't want it, well tough because you're not getting it off of there. Whereas like if it had a coat of um, epoxy over it, you could just kind of wipe it off with alcohol. But yeah, so this is raw glitter. It's just the ink is going where it's going. Um, I'm letting it spread out uh, how it wants to. Of course, I really don't have a choice in that. Um, so once I get my dark purple down here, um, I'm coming in with a lighter purple and I'm just going to uh, outline on both sides that dark purple there. So that dark purple is going to be kind of like a vein running through the lighter purple. And once I am happy with that, I decided that uh, it needed something else. So I um, am using some gold alcohol ink. Uh, I couldn't decide between gold and rose gold. So as you can see, I kind of put a drop down there on my paper again um, next to the uh, purple inks that I used to see what would look good together. I decided to go with just the gold. Um, I will have all of my supplies and everything listed in the description below. So be sure to check that out. So once I get um, all of my inks laid down here, um, this gold here, I'm just gonna outline um, both sides of my purple. Once that's all dry, I am going to give this three to four coats of just some clear gloss Rust-Oleum spray. Let that completely dry before I put it on my turner um, for epoxy. So once this is on my turner here, I'm going to give this um, three coats of epoxy. I'm going to sand it after the second coat, get it all smooth, and put the third and final coat on. Um, that yellow thing there, that is an adjustable support. Um, I got it from Bama Cups. It's really nice for um, like heavier... Um, projects like this. I use it on my vases and like some heavier tumblers or longer tumblers. It just helps support my um, kerning arm so that it's not like weighing down on my motor. So I'm just getting my, uh, this is the first layer of epoxy here. Like I said, I'm going to do three sanding after the second one. 
So I'm going to get this on here, hit it with my torch, and then give it a couple of mists of some 91% isopropyl alcohol just to get any micro bubbles. And I'm going to cover it and let it cure. So what I cover it with is just a plastic cereal box. I got them from Walmart. I cut off the um, front of them so that they'll just slide over my cups and things. And that keeps all the um, air floaties off of my projects. So here it is all done. Um, I did crochet up some roses, some different shades of purple and white to put in here. I'll have pictures at the end. But yeah, that's basically it for this one. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And until next time, see ya!